practically all of me. <laughs> yeah, it was it was nothing like the character that uh, you know the Carl wrote for himself or that he played in that pilot. To me, Carl Reiner's greatest talent was writing to people's strengths. We didn't have to act. He had such an ear for our our inflections and our speech patterns, and he wrote them down on paper, so we had to do was read it. Everyone played themselves, including Mary. And it was just that easy and that simple. Uh, well, I had my, my Middle Western accent, all right, but I, I didn't worry about that at the time. The, the only thing uh, I once, I think I said when we gave Sheldon an award, he gave me the only acting lesson that I ever had. He came up to me after the show one night and said, Dick, he said, you're talking in a monotone. Make your voice go up and down more. <laughs> And I said, okay, and I did, and everything was fine after that. <laughs> he literally did that. Why well, that I think that shakedown happened pretty quick. By the time we got into the first few shows, he, he was writing, you know, for my delivery. The most beautiful thing was Carl saw that I loved to do physical comedy, which he had not written into the script or didn't see in the lead character. He incorporated it. He made Rob Petrie a little bit of an awkward, bumbling man. But he, he always said that he said Dick Van Dyke is the master of schmuckery. <laughs> was it his idea or yours to do the classic Ottoman bit? You know, I don't remember. I don't. Re I wish I could remember how that came about. Whether I think probably we were clowning on the set one day, and I did some kind of a fall, and he decided to incorporate it. 